So this was just kind of an idea of you know two friends that have been friends for a long time. Going back to how we we met, the main obstacle is you have two chefs working in two separate restaurants that own two separate restaurants, and then you have two different cultures, Japanese, Lebanese. I mean, the only similar thing is the E's in the back of the names. And he's more of a put it on paper, diagram it out. And I did a little research of Lebanese, Japanese concepts of, of, around the there's not, nothing really in this, this area, or I, I think even in the country, really. Every dish we did, there was no dish that was like his focus or my focus. They were all focused on both of us infusing both cultures into the dish, which was ended up being a blast, and I think people really enjoyed it, and our staff did a tremendous job. The guys were plating, and me and him were finishing up the plates, because it got to a point where, um, there were so many different layers on some of these plates. So we were, we were just all over the place with, with uh, the different layers of flavors that we were putting on and everything. So that, that was a blast when it all came together. Working up to that point, it's a little stressful. And then, you know, he's texting me at midnight. I'm texting him at midnight. So that was kind of cool to, to see how his perspective on how he does all that. It, it, was, it was a really cool experience. I mean, it was, um, it was a blast. I haven't worked with him like on this level since some of our chefs collectives uh, back over the years where we worked with a lot of other local chefs and those were a blast. You know, we'd each get a plate and we'd have to come up with, uh, you know, they'd give us a pairing, we'd have to come up with the, pl the plate and the, uh, you know, there's already a theme. So this was just kind of an idea of, you know, two friends that have been friends for a long time. Going back to how we, we met years ago um, at one of my other restaurants and, and uh, the friendship kind of blossomed and then he went to go um, build Kango. Um, and he, he in, in the interim, worked with me a little bit in my kitchen at, at the other restaurant. So, um, so he was kind of the driving force to, that talked me into coming downtown. So there's a lot of backstory to this this whole friendship, and uh, um, you know, he, he said you need to get back with back to your roots. I was doing Italian at the time, and I had some burger concepts, and uh, he said you really need to get back in touch with your roots and go back to where you came from, and that kind of stuck with me for a long time. So, you know, everybody got involved, and then we brought our you know key people together. It, it was just kind of I mean, without getting too. Uh, it was kind of magical it was it was cool it was once it got going i think we both looked at each other like how, how are we going to put out it was supposed to we were supposed to cap it off at like 50 or 60 then all of a sudden it's 89 people and that's a lot of that's a lot of plates to to put out um for five courses or six courses or whatever we did so but um it, it felt like bringing the two different cultures and the two different foods um it could have been it could have got chaotic but it didn't it was the guys that we were working with um, everybody was just on top of their game and it, it, it went pretty well, so. Oh my.